action. If you're a woman in America and you receive any type of government assistance, whether it's WIC, SNAP, uh, Medicaid, if you got a baby daddy and you get child support, you a bum mother and you should never, ever open your mouth in a negative way about a man ever again. We're going we gonna to go to church now. We're going to start telling the truth. This is pure gospel. Men have allowed women to just disparage our names. My name is M-A-N. That's a man. You will call me by my name or you will call me sir. These are facts. We've allowed women to just completely just take our names and say we're deadbeats, we're incels. They say any negative thing about us, but they need us for assistance. Right now in America, I'm a debt slave. I owe the state of Texas something like $40,000. How is that? I got married when I was 19 years old. I was married for 11 years. And guess what? In that marriage, we had three children. And as soon as my ex-wife made the decision to say she didn't want to be married no more, you know what they did? They put the shackles on my wrist and said, man, you no longer have no free will. You will be a slave to the state forever. You're going to pay this woman forever. I can never climb out of this hole. I can't get out of this damn debt. And I got men who say, man, there are grown ass men who talk to me and say, just be a man. Just be a man. I did everything the right way. I created a family. I raised my family. Even right now, after marriage, I'm still 50-50 co-parents with her. How in the hell do I have my kids? Every weekend, all the holidays, and all summer long. You know what mothers get? <laughs> and I ain't trying to I ain't trying to tear down my ex-wife because I think she's a fantastic person. Fantastic people can use a predatory system to work against other folks. She goes to work. Whenever she wants to go to work, and when she goes to work, my children go to school. When they come out of school, guess what? How was your day? Good night. Wake up. Go back to school. And then on the weekends, go see your daddy. I don't get no time off. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, daddy time. All of summer from May till August, daddy time. That's full attention. They probably see me more than they see their mother. But somehow the state of Texas made the determination that I owe her money. How in the hell do I owe her $40,000 when they're with me half the time? Shouldn't she owe me half that money? She should owe me $20,000. I owe her $20,000, and the fact that we owe each other $20,000, it should cancel out the debt. But that's not how the system works. And in, and in her mind, I said, hey, I'm present for our children. I take care of our children. What kind of effective father can I be if I didn't have no roof over my head? Huh? If I can't pay my rent, where are my children supposed to go at? Where are they supposed to sleep? If I, if I can't buy no food for my children to eat, what kind of effective father can I be? And so I'm just supposed to sit back in a 50-50 partnership and give all my money and resources to the other partner and say, damn, you a hell of a partner. What about the father? The father is the most essential tool when it comes to, an, to, a, to a person, to a young person, to a child. The father is the most essential resource when it comes to a child. You can look at all the statistics. If you have a father that's present in his child's life, the dropout rate goes down, the incarceration rate goes down, they become better human beings, but we're choosing not to acknowledge these facts. We just give women all this power and say, hey, you could just be the worst mother in the whole history of the world, and we still going to give you money. We still going to give you food stamps. Here goes some wig for you. Here goes some child support for you. And now just destroy that child and send that child to prison for the rest of his life by being a terrible ass mother. And we accept that. And I'm telling the American man, we got to reject that. Abraham Lincoln passed the Emancipation Proclamation because he said that being a slave was wrong. In 2023, I'm saying that being a slave in America is wrong. If you choose to have consensual encounters with a woman or a man, this goes for both, for both women and men, if you're having a consensual encounter and a child comes from that interaction, you're both accountable. It becomes negotiation. If the negotiations fall through, who's at fault? The person who negotiated better or the person who could not negotiate. Because in a lot of these times, hey, if you're not the woman that I want you to be, I don't want to deal with you. I'll go deal with somebody else. The only people in society, the majority of people who pay child support are men. So like 85% of the child support system are men just like me. I owe $40,000. They, they might not owe as much money as me, but they trapped in the exact same system. And so when only 15% of women bear the punishment of their own 
or are punished for their own behavior, you can t you know that's an imbalanced system. But we can't even have this honest conversation. Why is that? Because so many men are cucks. Why are you a cuck, man? Because you can't get no coochie. You ain't a slave to the system. You a slave to some coochie. I'm not, I'm not a slave to no coochie. I'm a coochie monster. I'm finna destroy some coochie. And as soon as it don't behave the way I want it to behave, I'm finna go get some more. <laughs> and that makes you mad. That makes women mad because they're like, you ain't supposed to walk away from my coochie. Then have some better coochie, woman. And then there's some men out there that say, you ain't supposed to walk away from that coochie. And I'm like, the only reason why you think that is because you don't have the ability to get no coochie. We can't have honest conversations because there's so many liars and cowards in America. And I'm looking for patriots. I'm looking for freedom fighters. I'm looking for American men to stand up, hold their nuts and say, you ain't finna continue to take advantage of me. Hell no. I'm free. And not only am I free with my words, with my, with my body, bodily autonomy, I am willing to defend said freedom. If 10 million men decided to, 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 if 10 million men decided to boycott this child support system, there would be no child support system. But you too scared. You are scared. Oh, I, I want to talk to you bad. But I'm controlled by my digital overlords. YouTube is going to censor me and say, you can't say that. But I'll tell you this. As soon as American men stand up and defend their freedom, we get actual freedom, not perceived freedom. The whole system will break. As soon as men say, you're not going to continue to use me as no slave. Freedom coming. Freedom coming now. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.